Hello family, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Angela. Here on this channel, I create beauty, fashion, and lifestyle content for women over 40. But if you're under 40, thank you and you're welcome. Come on in, this video is for you today as well. Now, I'm going on a small vacation, girlfriend kind of vacation in a few days. I'm going to Punta Cana, not Punta Cana as I said in the last video. And while I was packing for my, or getting my stuff ready to pack, I was thinking about now I've been able to pare down to a carry-on and a tote or carry-on and a backpack. Now I've been traveling extensively for the last seven or eight years. So I've developed a system and created some tips and tricks on how to do that. If you like to hear my tips and tricks on how to create, on how to create. <laughs> if you like to hear my tips and tricks on how to pack for a small vacation where you just have a backpack a backpack dog on it if you'd like to hear my tips and tricks where you you got this honey oh yeah I'm we kept getting mixed up in my head too if you'd like to hear my tips and tricks on how you can pack with how you can travel there it is they travel if you'd like to hear my tips and tricks on how you can travel with just a backpack and a large tote or a backpack and see the items that i've got together for my you said large tote, uh, carry on. Carry on and, and. You said tote. Yes, I did. Carry on and a large tote or a backpack. So I'm going to have the carry on and I'm going to have a large tote. I'm going to have the carry on and a backpack. I see what you're saying. Okay. Okay. That didn't make sense to me, but okay, I got you now. Okay. Sorry. Okay. If you would like to hear my tips and tricks on how to travel with a carry. Pfft. One more time. If you'd like to hear my tips and tricks on how to carry on. <laughs> it's been a long time since I had to do this many takes. This is funny. If you'd like to hear my tips and tricks on how to travel with just a back. <laughs> okay. Oh. Okay. Ready. All right. I'm going to get it this time. If you'd like to hear my tips and tricks on how you can travel with just a carry on and a personal piece of luggage, whether that be a backpack or a large tote and the items that I have put together for my upcoming vacation, then stay tuned. Now let's get started. <laughs> that took forever. Yeah, did it. That took forever. So this is my outfit of the day. I'm not really going anywhere, but let me just say, if I did, if it was hot enough, I would wear this out the house without a problem. I saw this as I was on uh, Oprah's internet, <laughs> just scrolling for something. This is the perfect, and I mean perfect, stay at home wear outfit or perfect outfit to take on a vacation if you just want to be a one and done and not worry about it. If you're not concerned about your legs being out or your arms being out, this is perfect. I saw this and it comes in four different colors. I think it's like a tennis one or golfing kind of outfit and it's called a tiebreaker. And this is what I really, really like about it. It comes in size extra, extra small to 3X. I'm gonna get Shadia one of these, this black one, just like this one. So it's, uh, look, so I don't have a bra on. It has nice support right here. It has a nice, wide adjustable strap, which is perfect because I'm a petite and straps, if they're a regular strap, they're just always too long. So it's adjustable here and it has built in shorts. I do have one underwear, but it has built in shorts and pockets on each side. So you can put your phone on one side, your keys on the other side, and it has a little slit right here. You're talking about comfortable. Oh my. God, it is so comfortable. It is really, really soft, but um, it's supportive. As you can see it here, this is really, oh, this is so cute. This is so cute. Look at it. This is so cute. So I just threw this on. I have one, I forgot the name of these Nikes, but they're very, very colorful. They're Air Max, they're so comfortable. And I like these because they have multiple colors. I can wear them with multiple outfits just perfect and my perfume of the day to get me in the mood for my vacation is tom ford and it is the soleil blanc smells like if tropical vacation had a scent this would be it if hawaii had a scent this would be her it smells oh my god it has coconut pineapple it's just a beautiful, beautiful tropical 
spring, summer type of no, it smells like a luau. <laughs> I don't know what a luau smells like, but in my mind, when I see one with all the pineapples and all the fruit and all the, not even veggies, just the fruit, this is what it smells like, but not in a immature way, but in a very grown woman. I'm here, I have the flowy dress, I'm walking on the beach, I have on my hat, I have on my big shades kind of way. As a matter of fact, this is the, one of the two perfumes I'm taking on vacation with me. Thank you. As you see, the video is going in and out because my lovely assistant <laughs> is here to help me shoot this video. Normally I shoot the videos by myself, but he's home and he's helping me shoot this video. Go in and out, honey. See? If you see this in the video, you know my husband was home. If you don't see this in the video where it's going in and all the way out, I shot that video by myself. Okay, now let's get started. Tip number one is to minimize the number of shoes you're gonna take. If you're gonna be carrying a carry-on and a large tote and a backpack, my recommendation is four pair of shoes maximum. And that will include the pair of shoes that you're gonna be wearing on the plane to your destination. So the first pair of shoes, if you're gonna be going to a warm climate, you're gonna be on the beach, you're definitely gonna need some beach shoes, some flip flops, whatever type of beach shoes you wear, that, that's gonna be shoe number one. The second pair of shoes are gonna be a pair of sandals that pair really well with all of your outfits. That's whether you wear a bold outfit, whether you're gonna wear a neutral outfit or a pattern outfit, that pair of shoes, that pair of sandals should really coordinate with all of your looks. The next pair of shoes should be a nice pair of sneakers. For me, it's gonna be a white pair of sneakers. A white pair of sneakers is gonna match all of my outfits. And I want these sneakers to stay as clean as possible. I don't want them to be something that I've worn a whole lot of that's worn out. Something that's gonna be nice, cause I want to look nice some nights. Nice. This is gonna be the pair of shoes I'm gonna wear out to dinner. So I don't want them to be some worn pair of shoes that I've worn a lot, that I've broken in a lot. Just want them to be nice and neat and clean. And then finally, the last pair of shoes are the pair of shoes that I'm gonna be wearing on the plane. I'm gonna be wearing from home. I'm also gonna wear these shoes on any excursion I take and I don't really care if these shoes get dirty. Heaven forbid if I'm gonna go jet skiing, I'm not, I don't wanna worry about if my shoes are gonna get wet. It's gonna be okay if I have on a pair of these sneakers, if they get wet, if I'm gonna be out in the woods, I'm gonna be hiking, whatever I do, those are the shoes I'm gonna be wearing when I leave from home. So those shoes I'm gonna be walking around in, I don't care if they get Get dirty. I still want them to look nice. They're probably going to be a pair of shoes I've worn a lot. They're very, very comfortable, but I don't care if they get some dirt or some grime on them. Tip number two is to create looks that pair well with your shoes. Now, after we've talked about the four pair of shoes we're going to take, we want to make sure those four pair of shoes pair well with all of our looks. Now, for me, when I'm at home a lot during the summertime, I wear a lot of bold colors. I'm wearing a lot. But for a small trip, I'm probably not gonna take a lot of bold colors because I want everything to work really cohesively together and I want to take a very, very small amount. So whether you're gonna wear a lot of bold colors, if you are, that is perfectly fine. What I recommendation if what I recommend is all of your looks pair well together. You're gonna to pull out a color from those looks and that's how you're gonna choose the shoes you're gonna wear. I do recommend that you wear a, at least one pair of neutral shoes, whether that be your sandals or your sneakers, something that's gonna pair with everything. If you're gonna be wearing some pattern, pick a pair of shoes, perhaps like the sneakers that I have on that have color and pattern. So you don't have to worry about that or a pair of shoes that's gonna match the patterns in your outfits. Or if you're gonna be wearing neutrals, which is gonna be very easy, you can do white, black, or neutral color that pairs well with all of your looks. The next tip is to create cohesive looks that you can interchange your tops and your bottoms. That way you can create multiple looks. So even though like for my trip, I'm gonna be taking I think four pair of shorts and for shirts, I think all three of my shirts are white, but that's okay. But I can pair any of those shorts with any of those shirts that way I can create multiple looks. So you want to be able to create as many looks if, as you want. You know, sometimes you get up in the morning, you thought about what you're gonna wear the next day, but then you get up and you're just not feeling it. You're not feeling that combination of shorts and shirts, but you may feel these shorts with a different shirt that you had perhaps packed. So make certain that all of your shirts pair well with all of your shorts or all of your bottoms. So the next tip is something I got from my husband and I fought it because I was like, what is the point? He's looking at me real crazy. What, what is the point? And that is packing cubes. Let me see my packing cubes. My lovely assistant right there. 
you got some nerve. I do. I got a lot of nerve. A whole bunch of it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do have all of nerve. So these are my packing cubes, and I bought these from Amazon years ago, probably six or seven years ago, and they came all together. I'll see if I can find some and put them in the description box below and on my website. But these are mine. My husband has the exact same brand, and I think his are black or, or, or gray. Which one? I think yours are gray. No, yours are blue. Yours are blue. But these are packing cubes. These packing cubes help you keep everything really, really organized. Not just in your suitcase, but when you get to your destination. Like when I get to my destination, I take them all out. I lay them across the dresser. I open the top, but I don't take them all out. Uh-uh, no, you did. <laughs> I lay them across the dresser, but I don't take the clothes out of them. That way, everything is still very organized um, in my room and it's just not all over the place. And then once I use my clothes, I throw them in the dirty clothes. But these really help with the organization of packing. And that way, you know what everything is once you get to your destination. So the next tip is to match all of your metals before you leave home. And by match your metals, I mean choose silver or choose gold. Don't choose both. That way you don't have to worry about having a lot of each. Now, right now, it's trendy to wear silver and gold together. It does not matter. But for people my age, we know we got accustomed to wearing silver or wearing gold. We, we typically don't match up unless we have a single item that has both of them on it. So match your jewelry. That means if you have gold earrings, make sure your belt buckle has gold on it. Make sure your, your bracelets have gold, your earrings have gold. And that way you can minimize the amount of items that you're going to be taking with you. So the next tip is to take as many travel size items, body care items as possible. I will leave links to some travel size containers that I got from Amazon that I use for myself. The only thing that I take a large size of, and not really, really big size, but it is body wash because I, if I get hot, if I'm out and I'm sweating, I'm coming back in, I'm taking another shower. I'm taking showers all day long and I do not want to run out of body wash. Other than body wash, I try to really minimize everything. I decant a lot of my skincare or I'll leave it at home, but I still like to have my a good skincare routine, but I will decant all of that. And so that I have them in small bottles, less than three ounces. That way I can take them on my carry on. And also I will decant my perfume. So you heard me talking about, I'm going to be taking this um, Tom Ford Soleil Blanc for my, one of my fragrances. I'm going to take this and I'm going to take Killian Good Girl Gone Bad. And I may take a little Baccarat Rouge 540 just because I'm a little extra, but I'm not going to be taking the entire bottle. So I bought these perfume little decanter spray bottles um, from Amazon and it came in a pack of either five or six because I left the green one and the blue one for my husband. But you just take this off and the bottom has a little hole in it. You take the nozzle off the perfume and you just pump it up and down and it would decant some of the perfume in here. That way you have enough scent. This should be enough for two, three weeks, depending on how much you spray, two weeks for me. <laughs> Um, so I want to take three different scents. So I'm going to decant three different perfumes in these little carry on containers. This is perfect. And that's also great in case your luggage gets lost because we, we don't want my luggage to get lost first. And we definitely don't want my luggage getting lost with some expensive bottles of perfume in it. That is just simply not going to do. So this is a perfect alternative to taking a large full bottle of perfume. So I have all the things on the table here that I'm going to be putting in my carry on and in my backpack. I'm not taking a tote. I'm going to take a backpack. This is all the things that I'm taking on my trip. So we're going to start with my shorts. The first pair of shorts are a pair of shorts that I would when we go on excursion, I'm going to take these shorts on the excursion. These are cotton chinos. I don't care if they get mud on them. I don't care if they get ink on them. I hope not. I don't care if they get wet. I'm not worried about these getting torn up. If I'm out in the woods, I'm hiking, I get, they get ripped. I don't care. These are the shorts that I'm going to wear for an excursion. Or if I know I'm going to be out and about, maybe not just out and about, but just definitely an excursion where I might be riding some four wheelers or jet ski. These are the shorts that I'm gonna be wearing. Now, the other three pair of shorts are dressier shorts. These are my cotton linen blend shorts. You've seen these. I've talked about these a million times the last few videos. I have them in black, I have them in a winter white, and I have them in this flax color. These are 
pleated. They have a nice wide cuff. They're dressy so that I look cute. Even though I'm on vacation, I'm gonna be comfortable, but I still want to be cute. These are the shorts I'm gonna be wearing the rest of the time. So that's four pair of shorts. And these are my tops. I have a black t-shirt. My favorite Gap t-shirt is the um, crew neck black t-shirt that I can wear with either pair of those shorts. I have the exact same shirt, but in a V-neck, I have it in white, my favorite Gap t-shirt. I have a white tank ribbed tank top that I can wear with either one of those shorts. These are gonna be comfortable. I don't have to worry about it. And I have a white t-shirt that's kind of cut off, but not too high up. So it's gonna look great with either one of those shorts as well. So those are my four shirts. I can wear either of those four pair of shorts with those four shirts. All of them are neutral, so they're gonna look great together. Now also, if you know me, you know I love me a one and done. I have my dress here. It's just a dress that I could throw on. I won't be wearing a bra with this. I purchased this dress while I was in Bali. So if there's a day where it's hot and I just wanna go down to the pool, or I just wanna put on a dress, something cute, I can throw on some sneakers with, I don't have to worry about it. Just one of those dresses. You see, it's bright, it's bold. Now it doesn't match the other clothes, but I could put this on with my neutral sandals or I can wear this with my white sneakers. Next, I have, of course, because I'm going to put the content, boom, I want, well, let's look at, I'm going to Punta Cana. I'm gonna, we're gonna be at the resort, so I'm gonna be at the pool, I'm gonna be at the beach. I have two bathing suits. This bathing suit, um, definitely got this from Amazon. I remember this bathing suit from Amazon. Isn't it pretty? And it has a little open back. So this is a one piece. And because I'm extra and because I like a lot of color, this bathing suit that I got at the end of the season last year from Farm Rio, it has a beautiful wrap, it's heavy. So I can wear this all over, tied around my neck. And it's a bikini, has a bikini bottom. Why are the tags on? Because I haven't worn them, I bought them at the end of the season, they were on sale, I'm on the easy season. And this is a top that matches, that's really pretty. I'm gonna get some pictures in this. So I have a bathing suit and I have my rich auntie, uh, <laughs> Cover up is not really a cover up, but I will be using it as a cover up. You all have seen this in one of my Amazon buys. I will also use this as my going down to breakfast outfit. You know, sometimes you're in the hotel and you just don't want to put clothes on, use a brush your teeth, wash your face, throw something on, go downstairs and eat breakfast with your friends where it's comfortable and then come back up and get dressed. That is what this is for. Next, I have my jewelry. I have one belt and it is my Ferragamo belt. It has the gold hardware because I'm gonna have gold jewelry. And I love this belt. You don't have to spend this much money. You can get something different, but it is reversible. So it's black on this side. And my, my color scheme is cream and black and white. And then it's tan on the other side so I can reverse this so it'll wear well with my black sneakers. I'm sorry, with my white sneakers, it'll wear well with my nude shoes. I will probably wear black sneakers on the plane. So I can definitely wear this belt with, oops, excuse me. I can definitely wear this belt with everything. And then keeping in with the gold theme, this is, I'm only gonna take this handful of jewelry. Some of it I will have on, some of it I will put in um, my carry-on bag, my backpack. I have a couple of bangles. I have my Louis Vuitton bangles or Canvas, yes, canvas bracelets, and I have my gold bangles that I got from, no, I got these from Saudi Arabia, yeah. Um, they're real gold, they're really pretty. And just a pair of simple gold hoops that I will wear every single day with every outfit, just a little bit. Then I will have my three perfumes in my, in my decanter. And these are my pretty white sneakers. They're the Stan Smith Adidas that I recently got in the mail that I used to wear when I was in high school. But these will be my white sneakers that I will wear with all of my shorts except for the first khaki pair. So these will be my dressy white sneakers. These are my flip flops, my sand shoes, my beach shoes, what I'll probably put on to wear downstairs to get breakfast what I could wear in the shower, what I'll take to the pool side. Old Navy special. I think I got two pair, it was buy one pair, get the other pair half price. Got both pair, I think for under $10. And these are my neutral shoes, my neutral sandals. They're um, Chloe slides. These are so 
so pretty. These are the sandals that I will be wearing with all of my shorts, and all of my shirts. I can wear these with my dress as well. They're comfortable. I had these last year. Very easy, perfect for vacation. This is something that most people forget. It is a dirty clothes <laughs> hamper. So my husband, I always take one of these on vacation. So when I take my clothes off, I throw them in here. I hate my dirty clothes getting close to my other clothes and I'm even on my way back home from vacation. But this is my dirty clothes hamper I have here. And then I have three toiletry bags. Why? Because I do not play about my face care, my skin care. So the first bag has all of my skin care supplies in it. It has Q-tips and um, my Sha butter that my daughter makes, her hair and body oil, take that everywhere with me. My moisturizer, my toner, my essence, and my face wash, my vitamin C, some lotion. I have Tylenol, Advil, and Allegra allergy because I have bad allergies. And some makeup remover cloths, which I normally don't use, but I will um, take them on vacation and some retinol. You know what's missing? My sunscreen, I gotta put my sunscreen. I almost forgot my sunscreen, I gotta put my sunscreen in there. The next bag has my makeup brushes and I don't normally do a lot of makeup on vacation, but I have my makeup brushes in the bottom of the bag, my toothbrush, my toothpaste is in here, my bum bun cream, which is some um, lotion, some toothpaste, the toothpaste that I make, I put in here, and then a full size bottle. <laughs> of body wash and bath and body works that country apple is one of my favorites it's very hard to find now and then my makeup bag with all my makeup essentials in it my foundation my um toner not my toner my foundation my primer my powders my eye cream my lip gloss lipstick color corrector and one eyeshadow palette that's it and all of my um foundation in here and I have a lint roller brush in here it is but I'm a girl I'm a girl and it takes all this for me uh yes now these and I like for my stuff to be in clear as many I like to use as many clear containers as possible these containers came from Amazon and I think they came I think there were 10 I think there were 10 in the pack for under $20 and I love them. And each one of the little, they have different colors. So that one pink, see that one is silver. And this one is gold. So I gave it to Shadia. Now, if I were going on vacation and not going, because I'm going to a wedding, I'm taking um, this much makeup because I need to do a full face. But if I weren't going to a wedding, I would take very little makeup. I rarely wear makeup on vacation. I do a little color corrector, a little powder, a little eyeshadow, a little mascara, and I'm done. But because I'm going to a wedding, that is what I'm taking. Then I have my, my socks and my underwear. So this is what I'm gonna put in my carry-on. The sneakers will go into my backpack with my computer and then my other packet of things that I always take with me when I go on the airplane. If you'd like to see what those things are, I do have a video that I <laughs> talked about everything that I carry in my carry-on bag or my tote bag or my large purse when I go on a flight. I'll try to link it in the cards for this video. So now let me get all these things packed and into my carry-on. I'm gonna take these away because these will be packed in my backpack. Wait up, ain't got no time for that. I've stayed up. I was hoping that you would change your ways Wake up, you blew your final chance Make up, I'm trying but I cannot be mad at you I don't know how you got me weak I should leave this to give Your body's calling me for real My love's like an enemy Stay with till the morning I hate when you leave me I hate when I'm lonely
Well, that's it, family. I hope you enjoyed the video. By the time you see this, hopefully I'll probably be on my way back home. But no matter where you are in the world, know that you are valued, know that you are loved, know that I appreciate you dearly from the bottom of my heart, and know that I want you to have the most blessed, blessed day. Come here, say bye, honey, with me. Say bye-bye. 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 <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>